Hey you guys, Streamer37x here bringing you another War Clicks video. This is a game I haven't done a video on in uh, over a year now, I think. It's been about 15-ish months, I think. Uh, somewhere somewhere on that range, at least. Um, there's been a fair bit of stuff that's been added since the last time I played, and the devs have requested that I do another video, and I've, I'm more than happy to oblige here. I love it when devs reach out to me about covering their game, and especially a game like this, they're always adding stuff. They have, like, I want to say probably about like, monthly updates, at least. Um, they've started doing some events. They've been doing a lot of really nice improvements to this game. I'm, I'm very impressed with what they've they've accomplished in, uh, in the time since I've last played. Um, so, yeah, they gave me a list. Uh, most of the changes, I think, at least most of the changes that I... Um, that I noticed on the list are ones that I noticed just by looking around, so we're just gonna kind of go through the list here. Well, not necessarily, but uh, <clears throat> more we're just gonna kind of go around the UI, and I'm just gonna show off what uh, some of the new stuff. Um, so you notice the, the the boot camp I think is largely they've changed a lot. They've revamped the progression, which is not a change that necessarily is gonna be obvious looking at. Um, but in both boot camp and Warzone, they have revamped the progression a lot, presumably to make it a little bit more. Uh, a bit more fast-paced, presumably. You know, you can get to some of the, the nicer, later game stuff a little bit sooner. But, uh... Um, I, I can't exactly tell. Again, it's been a while, so I have, like, a year's worth of supplies saved up at this point. Um, privatization's the same. This, I think, is just... There's some milestones. I think these are largely the same. They may have added more of these, actually. Or, at the very least, I think they added this progress bar. <clears throat> um, they've been adding a lot of just... Uh, there's a ton of quality of life changes. Honestly, I don't, I'm not even going to notice all of them, but I'm sure some of you guys who have been playing or anyone who hasn't played in a long time might uh, might immediately recognize some things. So this, I don't believe this was here now. <clears throat> this was um, something that was always in... I think it was in like a separate tab before, but now it's actually you can very easily check the competitions. Basically, um, depending on how well you do in these, you get different rewards. So... Um, a lot of these you just like even I don't I haven't even been playing I still get these you just if you log in and you meet the requirements for this you just get the uh, let me see if I can find where they're stored here yeah the special badges these um, oh you actually can't see the pop-ups I don't know if you can really read these but um, yeah see how I hold nine of these uh, for a top top 1,000 players of army uh, army contractor increase so stuff like this you you these these stack and pretty much, uh, you could just kind of get these even if you're not actively playing, as long as you log in. <laughs> if you're, like, a higher level player, or a high, higher tier player, you just get some of these for free anyway. Um, this stuff also, I remember there's some weird inconsistencies with some of these numbers before, like the investors or contractors or something was off, but this, this all seems correct now. Um, fine soldier. This, this looks a little bit different. Oh! Oh, this is different. I actually haven't even noticed this. Okay, you can actually customize the look of your, um, <laughs> Apparently the gender just changes the hair, all right. Um, you know, it's not like uh, you're not like a super robust system, of course, but it's it gets the job done. I like this. This is pretty nice. Light colors. Oh, here we go. Okay, no, we do have a couple of the hair on hairstyles. Um, it's actually pretty pretty accurate. Ooh, you can change outfits. Oh, you can buy outfits as well. That's interesting. Uh, you can't preview them. Um, they have loaded my account with a bunch of gold, so honestly. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna pick up this, this nice little number here. There we go. Looks pretty nice. Uh, yeah, just because they knew I was doing this video, they asked me to do it. They, um, they loaded me up with a little bit of stuff. So, uh, uh I don't really care too much for the looks of those. Kind of like this actually makes me look a little bit, a little bit more intimidating, I suppose. Got some glasses. Get a hat. This is pretty. This is pretty nice. Oh, it's actually multiple of these. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go full on uh, full on show off at this point honestly. <laughs> there we go. Can't even see the uh, can't even see this anyway. I guess I'm gonna uh, I'll just leave that leave that off. There we go. Alright, so I'm now fully decked out. This is cool. This is actually a feature I completely missed. Um, I'm curious, what are the female hair options? Are they yeah they are actually different hair options. Okay. Uh, sorry, hold on. I'm going to this is one this is like the only major bug that I've noticed is that the um the music, sometimes it plays multiple music tracks at the same time, and it's a little bit jarring. I, I can't immediately figure out when it causes it or not, but you'll notice I turned music off, but one of the music tracks kept playing. Um, like, it's not like a huge deal, but I presume probably not a ton of people actually even play this with the music or sounds on, 
but um, just just something I've noticed. It's it's pretty minor by all things all things considered, but um, okay. So that's a really cool feature that I completely missed out on when I was looking around the menus before. Uh, this I think is largely the same. Um, notice my country rank uh, for USA is actually six now. We've we've fallen quite a bit out of favor from the last time I remember playing. I thought we were at least like top three pretty consistently. I can't remember exactly. Um, Hall of Fame also just opens up the old uh, uh, country rankings menu, or uh, it opens it in a separate tab. So. Uh, uh, with how I have it set up here, it's a little inconvenient to show off. Um, smaller things, you can now buy max OCD in the boot camp, so you can now buy as many of that thing as you can, but also only in increments that are, um, that are, like, even increments, which the, the OCD buying option I always really enjoyed, and it's not something that not a ton of other games actually have picked up on. Um, free gold, I think this menu might be a little bit different. They've, they've reworked a lot of the UIs, too, but anyway, this is just, like, a little, uh, Stuff you do outside the game to get some gold. <clears throat> you of course get your your six daily ads for production boost. You got your checklist here. Apparently, spin the wheel has changed. I haven't clicked on it yet because obviously, if it changed, I wanted to make sure I showed it on on uh, on video. Uh, the shop is completely different now. You'll notice this is laid out, in my opinion, a little bit nicer. Um, some interesting things you you can buy. I think these could sort to be the the. DPC boosts and like the unlocked TCs should probably be grouped together, but again, it's minor stuff. This I find very interesting. As far as I can tell, this is a permanent upgrade where you just get infinite auto clicker. With no, like, you don't have to worry about how you only get like 10 or 20 auto clickers a day. I can't remember exactly how it worked, but all I know is this, this seems really good. It's also right now, it's 60% off, I don't know if it still will be by the time this video goes up. Just something else to consider. That's a pretty significant uh, decrease in price. <clears throat> got your um, your gold bonuses. You got your work kit, which basically is a uh, a um. Sorry, just, just yeah, okay. I, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep the music off for now. Just 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 because it's it gets a little bit jarring. Anyway, this is basically like a like a starter bundle. Um, Ten bucks, you know. If if you think you're gonna play a fair bit of this game, this is pretty solid value. That's a lot of gold. How much does that? What does that amount of gold normally cost? That amount of gold normally costs by itself twenty bucks. So you get it for half off, and you get some DPC, a couple DPC boosts that you can use whenever you want. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you got down here for this absolutely massive bundle. <laughs> if you're really into the game, uh, well, that's actually just plays it twice. Okay, <laughs> sorry, just accidentally finding a couple minor bugs. <clears throat> mm. This stuff, I've obviously I haven't bought any of this yet either. This is really cool. This is another, like, by all means, this is a pretty minor addition. These, like, cursors and custom background, uh, custom wallpapers. But I just really like little stuff like this. Um, visual changes plus, oh, wait, this actually gives a, gives extra 1% boost and damage per click in Warzone. Oh, wow. Um, that also seems like it displays these twice. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. These actually have a functional purpose. Advanced. It actually shows a little uh, preview of it. That's kind of nice. Uh, do these... Okay, so the, the wallpapers are purely cosmetic changes. Uh, but the cursors actually are not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the... Uh, oh, it auto-equips it for you, too. Yeah, the, it seems like some of these purchasables, it actually pulls up the menu twice. Um, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna risk buying it a second time, just to make sure. So we can kind of preview... I, uh, I don't really think I need to buy all the wallpapers. You can see what they look like here. Um... Wait, I clicked on this, shouldn't it? It's showing a war zone wallpaper, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, I'm just kind of kind of look through these. I'm probably just gonna buy the most expensive one, <laughs> but uh, I'm just kind of looking at how they look. These are these are really nice, uh, like 3D renders there. I, I really like these. Um, I actually do think I like this one best. It's kind of the. It's pretty simple, but I, I dig it. Auto equips it there, so as you can see, very nice, very nice. Yeah, I like I like just like little cosmetic stuff like basically things. For people to spend gold on that aren't necessarily like completely competitive or even necessarily have a purpose, but they just 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 for a little little extra little extra thing there. That one's pretty. I think that was the only one I didn't look at. I really like this one. This is really nice. I'm thoroughly confident in my decision to purchase that one. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I've already blown through a bunch of my gold, but that's fine. I'm just I'm I'm here to show you guys stuff. So you know, however I spend my gold, that's fine. Uh, buy gold. Okay. So just 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 peek, peeking around the menus just to make sure I'm not missing anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. This stuff I think is all largely the same. I don't think I need to show that off. There's now chats um, that you can just access now. Before in the, the country menu there used to be a little chat, but now it's actually accessible anywhere. Uh, some chat rules. 
quite a lot of rules. Uh, whoops, hold on. Okay. Uh, there's a general chat, which the general chat seems pretty uh, civil, actually. I'm pretty impressed. I guess there's not a ton of people necessarily that are um, like actively talking in these chats. So, you know, there's not, like, a ton of spam like you tend to find in public chats and stuff like this. And then you also have uh, a local, well, not local, but you have a uh, country chat as well. Which, of course, is useful if you want to try and coordinate stuff for the, um, the country system, which has been completely overhauled. Which I'll be showing that in a second. I, I actually showed this earlier, glossed on it briefly. Uh, settings, completely revamped. You got shortcuts, which is pretty cool if, you know, you're into the whole... Uh, into uh, playing this a little bit more seriously, you can set up uh, hotkeys and stuff so that you can do stuff way quicker. These are actually, I think there's, there's in general more settings here than there were before. You can disable the chat uh, in case it does ever get to a point where it gets kind of spammy. Um, change music and stuff. I'm going to turn the music back on, I think, for now. Because um, I do like the music. It's just, uh, just uh, a little unfortunate. Uh, okay. Game menu, I think this was here before. Pretty nice stuff. What is it for a friend? Is this looking any different? Uh, whoops. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, I see a lot of people actually have been, uh, have actually been hopping over from my referral links that I had in my old videos. That's pretty cool. I can, I can get some pretty, uh, pretty good amount of gold from claiming. I'm not gonna sit here and claim all these now, but that's, that's pretty cool. Okay. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, because I have my links in all the old videos. Okay, so I think that's most of the major differences here. Uh, let's go ahead and stop by, stop on over to the war zone. Got a nice new background here. I really like it. Um... Okay, so this looks a little different. I, I think these weren't necessarily here before. The, the UI is definitely all all very different. I think the, um, the this itself seems to be pretty much the same. Where are my auto-clickers? Uh, how do I use auto-clickers? Actually, I don't remember. What is this? Oh, daily rewards. I was told about this. I actually didn't know where to find this. Yeah, so you, there's now, in addition to the daily checklist, you have daily missions. You get um, daily spin the wheel, which that's different. Hold on, I'm gonna go over that in a second. <laughs> and now you have just straight up daily rewards you just get for free. Check out Facebook. Oh, apparently also on their Facebook and Twitter, which I highly recommend you go and follow, uh, you can get codes that you just put in here and you just get rewards. Okay, that was also, again, that's something I read in the list that I wasn't able to find at the time. Okay, yeah, so you get uh, daily login bonuses. I don't know what the big rewards are. If anyone knows what these big rewards can be at the very end, uh, that was easy. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments, because I'd actually like to know what this is, and so that other people can know as well. Um, so yeah, these are pretty nice rewards, because it's just completely free. Um, not too shabby. Okay, so yeah, this I think is largely this- oh, here we go. I think that's- yeah, yeah, there we go, okay. Um, the- this itself seems to be mostly the same- I think it might be laid out a little bit differently. Uh, as far as I could tell. But, I, again, I don't remember enough about it to say for sure. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Again, I'm, I'm a little bit... Uh, I'm a little bit uh, out of the loop as far as this game goes, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm kind of just just hopping back into it so I can I can see what all has been going on. Yeah, this scene... <clears throat> I think this, is, this looks a little bit nicer. It's laid out. Uh, the UI is a bit different, but I think, in general, this is mostly the same as it was. Um, as far as, like, the base, the base gameplay, at least. Army setup, I notice, um, this is, all this stuff seems about how I remember. This unlocks now? This, I'm not completely sure where these came from. Uh, put the arsenal. Let's try this. Okay. Um, it says just unlocks. So these are just, like, free unlocks. Oh, what is? Uh, I'm just gonna take these, I guess. Right, if I increase it to 10%. Per second, no. Okay, so this is the this is the infinite auto clicker. I think in the shop, because the pricing and the description is all exactly the same. Um, oh, I see. Okay, so this I I think this is more like how the auto clickers used to be, like before the big revamp. Is that it? Literally just clicked for you. I think this is yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I so basically, this is like two different means of auto clicking that you have now. Um, but this one actually comes with a cool, where basically if you use it for too long, it has a, it has a cooldown. Oh, you actually have to restart it as well. Okay. However, if we were to... I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. If we do this... You see, it, it, there's no cooldown anymore. You literally don't... You can just pause it, resume it. It doesn't... There's no cooldown for this anymore. So this this is, can just go forever. 
<laughs> which is really nice. Because uh, basically this adds, you know, if you have a little bit of gold to be able to buy this, um, this is just really, really nice way of, of just idle play. Um, yeah, that's that's really useful. Okay, I'm going to go to pause it just because it's making kind of a lot of noise. Um, but that, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, again, it's a little pricey, especially at full price, but right now 60% off. 6,000 gold, I think I even had that before they dumped a bunch of gold onto my account. Um, you know, it's it's it might take a little while to get it, but if that's that's definitely a nice goal to, to work towards. Um, okay, sorry, so there's refuel. Okay, so they still have this old game. Oh, we still have to click this a lot. Alright, this, I, I think they said that they do want to revamp this at some point. Um, you have to click this a lot. Okay, I mean, I, I didn't really need to. Oh, it's gonna time me out. Okay, alright, I gotta do it. <laughs> Sorry for the clicking noise we had. I'm gonna try and move my mouse away from the mic a little bit more. <clears throat> yeah, I think they said that they want to do something with this. Um, I, I I can see why. It's a lot of clicking, like a lot of clicking. Uh, okay, what is this though? Unlock. Oh, so just you don't have to wait, right? Okay, you can also watch ads to do that. All right, let's check out the wheel here. Um, I see it definitely looks a lot nicer. The rewards are. Yeah, it seems like there's definitely some nicer rewards. You get a thousand gold as the max. There's like, I feel like there's a bunch of like one to five gold prizes before. Um, is that two respins or something? And two spins. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's give it a, give it another go then. Yeah, I can just by looking at this world. There's a lot less different rewards, and all of the rewards that are here are pretty nice. I think that's a free refuel, time chance. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I'm pretty sure that's the refuel mini game. Okay, right, what do we get for our last one here? Eh, not bad, 150 gold. That's that's really not too shabby at all. 150 is is pretty pretty respectable. Oh wait, I still have another spin. Hey, that, okay, do I get like two spins a day or something now? Hmm. Okay. 25. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So that that's definitely nicer. Uh, let's see, so I, I'm waiting to do the, the, the country thing, I think, is what I want to show off last, because, again, that is, like, the, the biggest overhaul they've done here. Uh, daily missions, I think I showed those off briefly. What is this up here? Resupply truck. Um, uh, resupply. Current ETA. New set of... Oh, so this, okay, I see. So this, this is basically telling you exactly when the... Basically, the, the day flips, because, you, you know, all this daily stuff is always ambiguous in these games, because, like, when does the day actually start? And it's different for most of the games. This game actually tells you exactly when it's going to happen. So you, and it also tells you exactly what you're going to get, which is really cool. Okay, so it is once a day. I'm not sure where I got that extra spin from then. Daily mission, daily task, 120 new support unit attack. Oh, that's uh, this one here. Top top yeah okay that's really that's really nice this is this is a very nice again it seems it seems like kind of a minor thing but that's a really nice quality of life improvement that I don't think was there before um official chats I think I think most of oh I guess you got your level up here and I think that was probably there before but I only just noticed it uh 116 not too bad not too bad I've seen some like level 400 though so I'm a little bit behind there but that's that's probably fine okay so now I think for the last Major, this is help menu also, which I'm not sure was here before. It kind of goes over some of the, uh, not just the basics. This pretty much goes over everything. So you can open up the chat. Uh, from there, which is neat. Okay. So I, I just want to make sure I'm completely thorough. The video is going to be a little bit long. Uh, not too bad, honestly, compared to all my recent videos. But uh, I just want to be completely thorough here. Make sure I cover everything. Okay, let's let's hop into the country headquarters here. So you'll know, you'll remember, you might remember before, <clears throat> this entire thing was just, it was just... As far as I can remember, it was just the invasion, and um, that was pretty much it. There's like some stats maybe, but they've they've done a lot. Spoil point. I don't even know what this. I don't even know what a lot of this stuff is yet, to be honest. Um, I, I can I know what most what some of it is just from context. So we have fight results, which I think this actually just brought up the invasion menu. No, oh it's different. Oh okay. Um, so yeah, this is this is largely the same. Uh, looks a lot nicer, that's for sure. Uh, it is just a lot of clicking. I'm not... Oh, is it actually... Oh, it does actually lock you into doing these things. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we're just gonna click then. But I guess I could just show off a little bit here. So, clicking damage. Some... A lot more nice information here. Your fifth base is a strong break the line. 100, 100 gold. Yeah, so you get 100 gold if you participate in this. Airstrikes. Yeah, so it talks about airstrikes, which we'll go over a little bit. Invasions can be overclicked. Oh, okay, so that's okay. So there's overclicking now, apparently, which is nice. Um, 
So down here, kind of set. Oh, putting up something. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. So let's talk about the voting. Uh, so yeah, so you get your your three chances a day. I think that's the same as was. Lot lot nicer uh, interface and stats and results and stuff like that. Much more robust system now. Uh, but this is largely the same as what it was. But they've added multiple other things. So we have this, which actually tells you. Okay, so this is where you get your spoil points. I'm not sure what the spoil points are used for actually, because that's new. Um, so you get spoil points as well as gold. You only get the gold if you. I think if you actually destroy a base successfully, or like if you participate in a base that's get, that gets destroyed, but the spoil points you get no matter what. Uh, so that's nice. Country stats. Uh, you can donate actually from this menu, which is interesting. Okay, so we just talked about voting, so let's go ahead and check out the voting now. This I don't remember where this was. Before. I don't know. I don't know if this was. I think it was a kind of in the game, but it was a more hidden feature. Uh, now it's completely out in the open, and it's really cool. Uh, this uh, this is probably my single favorite change that they've made. So you can now... So basically you donate to the treasury, which we'll, we'll show that off in a little bit. Um, you can now vote. You get voting power based on how much you've donated and based... Actually, we can click on this to see exactly what it does. Um, yes, yeah, so you can donate right here to increase your voting power. And let me, let me just let you guys listen to this voice clip here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whenever you go, oh, hold on, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, whenever you go up in price, it says "Oh yeah" in a really loud voice. Uh, sorry, I'm going. I, it's just, it's an interesting little addition. It's just kind of funny. Um, yeah, we'll go and donate. Oh, like I don't know, yeah. donate like a oh, K yeah. here. Oh, so yeah. it doesn't increase your voting power. Your voting power goes up by 0.1 yeah. for every 100 you donate. Um, you also get an increase in your clicking force. Yeah, let's go ahead and let that go. Oh, there we go. Voting power went up. Um, donated. It says you do the total. Yeah, okay. So pretty, pretty simple. Pretty simple to do now. Before you were able to donate, but I truthfully don't think that it did anything for a while. I think it was just something that they were kind of saving up, basically, while they waited for uh, to implement the thing that it actually did. Now we can see what it does. <clears throat> so you can vote for upgrades for your for your country, basically. I think these are permanent upgrades. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but probably, actually, because these are pretty expensive. So you, get, you can get this one for free if your country doesn't have any money. Uh, but you can also get a huge increase of spoil points. Uh, let's go ahead and vote for that one, yeah. Um, or you can in decrease the break the line health. Uh, total there, which apparently is not very useful because nobody votes for that. So we're we're going for this one. You can vote for each each of these things once. It, it seems like yeah. So you could also vote for which country to attack, and I think this is the country versus country uh, content, which I will also go over in a, in a second. Uh, apparently everyone wants to fight Russia. Um, I'm not sure what the what how how you exactly want to take that. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that as is because I don't really know enough. Uh, you get a bunch of stats. Um, they're the highest threat, which might be why. I'm not sure. Um, I, I'm sure there's some strat There's plenty of strategy, but uh, I'm just not sure what it is. <clears throat> um, and then also you can call in airstrikes. If you, if basically, if you had to break the line that's too tough, um, the country can collectively vote to call an airstrike, which will just destroy it instantly for not that much gold, actually, all things considered. Voting position uh, required to accept vote. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Um, Okay, so yeah, you got your donations, you got your voting. The last major content also is this, which kind of says votes and uh, recent stats. Uh, you have your country v. country. Oh boy, there is there is clearly a lot here that I'm not actually able to check out at the time of recording this, but I can kind of show what it's like. So you'll notice this, there's five CVCs and two alliances. This is based on the days of the week. So for every day of the week, there's a CVC, and then both of the weekends, there's an alliance fight. Um, I actually don't completely know about what the alliance fights are like. Uh, alliance members can receive an alliance star. So, let's see. Every Saturday, a new alliance seems to be created. One will defend and the other attack. Okay, so I think this is within a country. Basically, you're fighting against your own team to just, like, st learn strategy and, like, strengthen, strengthen your, uh, your, your, well, strategy, I guess. <laughs> Um, 
You get, a perm you get permanent boosts, so definitely participating in these are nice. Uh, spoil points are distributed based on clicking force. Um, council member of your country or membership based on activity. Yeah, so basically to be able to participate in this stuff, you need to... Let's see. What do I... I saw that menu somewhere. Is it here? I think it's this one. It takes a minute. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so you need an entrance ticket for the alliance fight. So you need to either be a council member, which we saw in the other menus, like the top 20, I think, or so, donators. Um, or play actively and participate in CVC at least three times during the week. Of course, I, I'm actually this actually tells you what day I'm recording. So I'm recording this on Sunday. So alliance fights are what's going on today. So uh, I actually am not able to show off the CVC right now. But I can show you a replay so you can kind of see how it works. Um... So this just kind of talks a bit more about the alliance fights. So I think you can, there, there's some amount of setup you can do. Of course, I can't participate in this because this is an alliance fight. Um, and I haven't met the qualifications, which we just saw. But we can see yesterday's result, which is actually an alliance v. alliance. And uh, so we can actually see what these are like. You see, this is, uh, I was really surprised when I saw it. This is like a, a fully robust new means of fighting. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just start playing this. Sorry, a little bit. That's a little bit loud. This will lag me, but I think because I'm I have this like zoomed in, so you guys can see it well. So it's not actually gonna run this slow. I can for some reason, it actually makes it go faster. I guess a little play playback increasement. Or so basically, you have the defending side and the attacking side, and you kind of basically you like set up your troops, and I think it just goes automatically after you set it up. So I think the entirety of it actually is the setup and the, the, the strategic um, deployment of how you set up your turrets, your mines on the defending side, or you set up your tanks and units on the attacking side. Um, it, it seems really cool. I really wish I could actually show this off, but um, I think if we do end up doing that, it might be a separate video. But either way, you can you can kind of see um, how this goes. And it's a really cool, really cool system. I have to assume that the CVC battles are probably very similar. Um, so I, I like I, I would I would I find it very likely that they're going to be similar since they're all kind of lumped into the same category here. Um, so yeah, that's a really cool feature. I'm a huge fan of that. the The country system is definitely the thing that received the most love um, over the over the updates, and I can I think it definitely shows the the country. The, the fact, the, how you can compare yourself and now even more directly just, like, actually fight other people in other countries um, is really cool. I think it's one of the strongest parts of this game is just that you really feel like you're playing on an active battlefield, I guess. Um, where, like, it actually feels like there's other people playing that you are actually fighting against. Like, these kinds of games pretty much never have PvP kind of content. So that just that alone is a really unique selling point in my opinion. Um, it's a really cool. Let me try out the music again. It's a really unique thing, and uh, it's like I said, in my opinion, it's the strongest, probably the strongest, the strongest part of this game. Um, but yeah, I think that is going to do it for this video. That is, as far as I could tell, all of the major and even some of the more minor uh, changes that have been added since uh, since I last played. Sorry, I tabbed out and actually uh, stops the music when you tab on. Um, so yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check the description for a link to my Twitch.tv channel. I stream, uh, currently I stream Sunday, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, 6 to 9 p.m. EST. Friday, sometimes I go a little bit longer. Right now I'm streaming uh, Epic Battle Fantasy V. It's a little uh, indie RPG that I have like 100 hours in already. Um, and then on Fridays, I stream with my buddy Sacred Survival. We are currently playing a... Minecraft custom map, su uh, custom super hostile map, which anyone who's been around the channel for a while knows that that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big thing on this channel. But um, probably gonna be switching to something else soon, maybe Black Ops 4 Zombies again. I'm not really sure. But anywho, also join the Discord if you're interested in that. We talk about a bunch of games there. Um, if there's enough interest for making a channel for this game, I'd be willing to do that as well. But I'm, I'm sure there's, there's, a, you know, you got the in-game chat, which is not here right now. Uh, <laughs> And then you have forums and stuff for this game as well, so. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend you check out the Discord. I really like keeping in touch with you guys. But um, yeah, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you guys later.